This is the tower. <laughs> it's important we introduce you to Jack Greenwood as he's laughing. Yes, it's home for me. Because at 57, it shows he's accepted the reality of where his life has led him. Well, this is it. I came here with nothing. I basically had two changes of clothes in a backpack. Jack is one of the residents at the Denver Rescue Mission, one of the many aid groups helping people without a home across the country seen a rise in the number of baby boomers coming to them for help. I remember walking in that door over there. It was uh, still in late March and cold. And, you know, I didn't know what to expect. I'd been to programs before, but I didn't know what this one would be like. And I sat down and just this feeling just came over me of, of just, wow, I did the right thing. Nationwide, the number of baby boomers who are experiencing homelessness is expected to rise to 225,000 in the next four years. That's according to a study by the University of Pennsylvania. It's a large jump from the 170,000 who found themselves experiencing homelessness in 2017. We have more regulars in that boomer, you know, mid 50s age group on up. Stephen Hinkle works at the rescue mission. I think people are really feeling the pinch financially, and there is definitely an, an older age group that is definitely experiencing homelessness that previously wasn't. With record inflation, gas prices, and rent costs, the financial pinch is driving more established people to a place of need. But you just kind of find your people and, yeah. For Jack, he couldn't stretch the money he got from his house years ago. It led him to living out of a motel, then the bottle, and now here. You never really think that it's going to happen to you because you're going to think that you're smart enough. You know, you've got an education. You know, you've had a, you know, a six-figure salary. You know, obviously, I'm, I'm going to be smart enough to avoid that. But it sneaks up on you. This isn't where Jack or many of the thousands of others like him imagine themselves at this point in their lives. But accepting this reality has led him to a place where he's working to establish himself once more. You just have to be vulnerable, open, and willing. And it, you can make it happen, but it is going to be tough. And maybe that will make me better in the next version of myself. I'm Dan Grossman. Thank you for joining us this week for our conversation about how inflation is impacting our country. Next week, an episode we are calling Life in America. We are talking to people across the country about what their day-to-day -day looks like as we get closer to the midterm elections. We're able to operate under great cost and extra effort under bore water, but we can operate, can operate if there's no water. Until then, from Chicago, I'm Chris Stewart, and this is The Race.